And it's 747 where Nevada comes to talk. You are listening to Daybreak Nevada Live now on a Monday morning, third day of August. An ugly, ugly weekend in Carson City. That's all I can say. I want to thank all of those folks who uh, who helped share our information over the weekend that we posted. And uh, unfortunately, uh, from what I saw this morning from uh, uh, your colleague, Jim Wheeler, uh, State Assemblyman John Ellison, that uh, a lot of people opposed these bills. And the Democrats just ignored it. Yeah, yeah, they they sure did. It was, uh, I think it was my wife just showed me there was forty five hundred and sixty three against and eight hundred and nine in favor. But you know there there wasn't a thing in here that uh, uh, they wanted to listen to the public. Uh, I mean, it's this is not about listen to the people. This is is about uh, we're going to push it through, and if you like it or not, that's on every bill. You know, there is a, a long saying that if there's something that you want to have buried, you introduce it uh, and, and publicize it at 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. And that is basically what this legislature did uh, in Governor Sisolak calling a special session with less than 24 hours notice and ramming all these bills through on, and I want to point out, strictly party line votes. Yeah, it was pretty bad, and and you know, on most of these bills, uh, the caucuses stayed pretty pretty strong and, and together. But uh, uh, there's some that they didn't. Uh, there was uh, the police reform bill. Um, uh, there was only four that was in opposition of it. You know, and they actually actually did a lot of work. Um, um, one of uh, the the Democrats did a great job, you know, trying to reform it. And cleaned it up, took all the attorney general stuff out of it. So he did a good job. And and uh, but the uh, but at the end of the day, we pay our officers to protect us. Uh, you know, there's good and bad and everything. They, remember, they removed legislators from the, the floor of the legislature for bad things. But no, uh, they didn't want to hear it. In uh, the statements about how bad they were, that that's wrong. But we pay our officers. To serve and protect, and uh, four of us stood up and fought it. You know, and and it's like we said, there are good and bad, and we just need to exercise uh, judicial caution of that. But by and large, I mean, we we look at what was happened, um, and then you and I discussed this over the weekend. This whole thing with mining, I mean, this will kill mining in rural Nevada. Well, if you've seen the numbers, Nevada Mining Association testified on the floor. If this goes through the way they're talking about right now, you'll lose 13,000 jobs in rural Nevada. Uh, this, you know, you've, this has happened before when we lost mines and, and shut communities down. Uh, totally. It, uh, it bankrupted them and the state had to step in. But they didn't enlist it. They didn't care. Uh, this is not about coming to the table and negotiating. This is about totally, totally coming forward and saying, look, this is what we're going to do. And you couldn't believe the testimony that was out there about how these guys are making billions and billions of dollars. That's not true. But they're not going to listen. Uh, so uh, this will be a ballot. You know, it would be heard one more time at the legislature, and then it would be uh, – then it will uh, go to a vote. But all I can hope for is that the people get educated on this, and I hope to God that the people realize what's going on in the state of Nevada and tell all their friends in Las Vegas and Washoe, well, you guys got to come to the table and listen to this, because I tell you what, the state's going down. You know, that last night they fought and fought till midnight, and they exposed about $3 billion stole out of Dieter. So... Uh, Nevada's crashing if they don't get this thing under control. It's it's ridiculous, and you know one of the things. Remember, I mean, I I want to point this out to people that back in uh, the big recession, where gaming crashed, I mean crashed hard. 
Who was it that bailed the state of Nevada out? It was mining and agriculture. When tourism dies, you always have mining and agriculture to bail it out, and now they want to kill one leg of this three-legged stool. Well, it's, it's, this is probably one of the worst bills that they could ever bring forward. And I said on the floor, none of these bills, none of these bills should be heard right now. There's nothing that's under Emergency Act. Nothing. Every bill here should not be heard. It should be heard in regular session, not special session, but the people can come and speak and talk. Uh, you know, they had call-ins, but that's it. And then you had an hour for the people to call in. But 90% of the people that called in and, and supported this bill were all educators from the universities and students from Las Vegas. I mean, 90% of them. these people forget. I mean, look, here's one example of where mining is going to do something or could do something great for this state. The new mine over in, and I forget the name of the mineral that they're mining over in in uh, Eureka County. You probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But you've got you got mines popping up. The new lithium mines are some of the best in the world. Uh, battery op, you know, the, for batteries. Well, you can see battery cars. You're going to see these are not even open yet. <laughs> so you're going to see um, these new mines that are going to try to get off the ground. Uh, how could they do it? I don't think they can do it. So, and by the uh, way, uh, uh, you're right, and, and uh, they're going to bankrupt some of these small counties. But you look at these little towns, uh, or little counties uh, that they depend 90% on mining. Uh, this this could shut them down. This could put that county in bankruptcy. But the lithium mining and the new mine over in Eureka would dramatically reduce yeah. Yeah. Ex uh, imports. And bring things back, you know, as we, what is the thing we've been talking about? Bringing things back to America and fixing America first before we deal with the rest of the world. That's what's crazy. I want to divert to one other little thing here. Um, this uh, vote by mail. Harvesting. You know, the, 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 the ballot harvesting is there and the possibility... And, and and I'm I, we're getting shots from uh, uh, from Elizabeth Thompson over at the Nevada Independent saying that uh, uh, this is all uh, you know why why are we opposed to mail-in ballots now when absentee ballots have been there forever? Well, because absentee ballots are requested. Well, they're also uh, you go in for absentee or you you get the ballot and then you fill it out and they they verify it. This is where somebody can go around and pick up all these ballots. Uh, and not verify who they are, and then take them down there. Then the, the state has to prove, uh, the state has to prove that that's a, a, gentleman, uh, a legitimate vote. So they can steal all these, 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 these ballots, fill them in, and take them down there. You, you're never going to hear the end when, when um, this could take m uh, up to a month trying to verify all these signatures. It's bad. Uh, and you know, this morning the president came out and said that he was going to file lawsuits. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It, it's it's bad. I uh, I hate to say it, but Nevada is really, really, really going to get a black eye out of this. Well, I want to encourage everybody this morning to blow up the governor's phone number. I'm going to give the phone number here, and the at the uh, uh, at the Capitol seven seven five. 684-5670, 775-684-5670. If that number's busy, call this number in Las Vegas, 702-486-2500. And uh, let the governor know what you think of his proposals, because that's the only shot you've got now. And I know we're not going to change his mind, but we're going to make him uncomfortable. I think that's one of the things we have to do right now, is make the Democrats very, very uncomfortable because that's the only thing we can do. That's right. I, I totally agree with you. Uh, but here, let me let me bring this this up, and uh, you probably said this on your mind, your the show several times. But 
you know, the mines are the only ones that prepay uh, their taxes. The only ones. They they finally got it where they went back to normal to pay their taxes like they like normal people do, and they they come back and ask them to prepay their taxes because of the shortfall. They did, and then as soon as they get the commitment, they turn around and stab them in the back. And I said that on the floor and got cut off. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Here you're asking the only company in the state of Nevada or United States to come forward and prepay your taxes in the hundreds of millions and all of them. What do you do? Then you turn around and try to take the rest of them. Uh, but there's 16 counties got mining in it. And by the time they're done, there'll be four or five. You'll kill a little guy right off. So, so in, in just a few words, what we've had happen here is we've had Governor Sisolak uh, and his cronies in the uh, Democratic Party uh, have uh, done their best to neuter the police force, neuter your vote, and uh, kill jobs in rural Nevada. This is the right. legacy of the Democratic Party right now. Well, what they need, these people need to get out there and say is none of these bills should be passed. None of it should be signed. And that's what you need to tell this guy. None of these bills should be signed at all. You tell that governor, BS, let's take and put these bills on the desk and him not sign them. And then when there's a regular session, then we'll bring them up and, 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 and fight them. But right now, I mean, they're pushing bills that has no business being here. These were not emergency bills, no. Nothing's got to do with COVID. Nothing. It's crazy. 775-684-5670. Call the governor's office, 775-684-5670 or 702-486-2500. We will post those on our Facebook page. John Ellison, uh, John at EllisonElco.com. You can drop him an email and thank him for his hard work. And thank you for joining us after a crazy, crazy weekend. John, we will talk again soon. Day. Thank you, and God bless you, and, and keep everybody together up there, united. We're doing all we can, John. It's 8 o'clock. Daybreak Nevada rolls on here with uh, hour number one out of the way, hour two straight ahead right here on the Nevada Talk Network.